Yes, you are. Welcome in the family of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is your hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchy, back in the booth. Today, I'm talking about my top 10 for the NHL Draft 2022. So don't go nowhere. Here we go. We are right now in the big booth of the NHL Draft 2022, my top 10. 10 prospect maybe at the end i maybe give you two more but you have to wait until to the end to figure out this one but before we start we invite you please don't forget to subscribe to the hockey initialized show if you're already please click on the little bell to get the notification and also if you have a great time to watching this video hopefully you're going to click on the likes and leave your comments tell me what you think about my top 10 prospect 2022 so let's start with the first players of my top 10, and we start with number one, Shane Wright uh, from Kingston, Frontenac, and OHL. He is a 6'1", 187, a uh, shoot on the right. is from Canada, of course. Last year, yeah, he did not play. The OHL have no, no, no game. So he had no chance to play, other than the fact he played on the, on the Team Canada, but Otherwise, he didn't have no, no game in OHL. Listen, this is a franchise talent. High hand, skater, balance, quick as an excellent edge work. Uh, impressive intelligence is situation awareness, both with and without the puck. The guy is one of the top best player and uh, is coming for the next um, NHL draft for sure. Um, he can... is release go miss right at a top speed. Dangerous, one-timer, then can... Really get some eat on elite vision with the puck and make his winger better by giving them the puck and position the success. So uh, quick ends and decision making. Responsible 200 players set the tempo. Elite positioning is not af afraid to finish his check. All star potential. That's what is Shane Wright. That's the reason we put him number one. Number two from Finland, Brad Lambert. Uh, six foot one seventy nine is a two thousand three bird day. Uh, bird uh, he is uh, born in December. Look, is a center also played for Lea Gal last season. A forty six game, he had fifteen points, seven goal. Uh, offensive center, a little bit type of McDavid with a speed, impressive strike with power, agility, and sharp edge control. A play driver who pushed the offensive attack. Excellent vision, decision making and timing on his pass. Remember last year during the U20 uh, World Junior Championship, he played for Finland. I was already impressed by the way he was skating, by the way, the, the way he was playing also. I'm going to give you a little bit more deeper information about this. This is coming from the Atlantic um, website, and I'll give you a little bit more. I'm not going to read everything here, guys. Because it's going to take too long for to make the video, but you can stop the video. You can read about each one of them. Look, uh, at 15 years old, uh, Shane Wright and the OHL with 39 goal and 58 game. Just give you what kind of domination he has. And I can wait for this year when the OHL return. What Shane Wright is going to do uh, before his, uh, you know, the year to get draft next season. Uh, for Brent Lambert, listen, it's the same. Thing I just said, it's about his speed, his edge work. Uh, you have an amazing, great power for skating. So great, great about Brett Lambert. Number three and four. Number three, Matthew Savoy. Um, is a 5'10", is a center, play for Tubrook uh, Fighting Saints and USHL. He played 34 games last season, 21 goal with 17 assists for 38 points. What they said about him, impressively quick, dynamically, adds up skill center, possess elite skating ability, burner speed that hit with a, just a couple of quick steps, uh, excellent edge work, super aggressive with the puck, it can dance through the traffic with um, trend move, uh, very great on stick and gling. So that's what it's all about, about him, and uh, like you said, skill at the heart of the puck still. So... Um, that's what is Mathieu Savoy. Now, the number four, Simon Nemec uh, from Slovakia is a defenseman. Uh, my first defenseman in the, on my top 10 right now. He's a 6'1", 192, 37 game last year. Two goals, 17 assists for 19 points. Intelligent, poise, 
Uh, match sur two way defender, smooth, straight, strong, all uh, mobility, dynamic, acceleration. Very unoffensively, very smart and a creative, quick transition for the game. Can move the puck with a pass or rush it. So he distributes the puck accurately and smartly. That give you an idea what kind of player is Simone Emek. That's the reason why I put him uh, my first defenseman uh, on my top 10. Um, a <clears throat> little bit more about uh, Savoie. Savoie spent the entire season in a USPHL. Um, at 16 years old, he had 21 goals, 38 uh, points, and 34 games, like I mentioned to you. Like you said, with the puck, his stick is stand out. That's what his stick and glint is amazing for Savoie as a center. For Nemec, what he said, uh, he had an offensive six season last year. He put a great number for a 16 years old. He played also at the top player at the World Junior and Earthfall won at the World Championship for Slovakia. Uh, like I said, Simon is going to be a great pick. I, I would not be surprised at top five for the next upcoming season. Um, five and six, uh, I have Jurad Slavkovsky. Uh, from uh, Finland again. Uh, last season in 16 games, at 8 goals, 5 assists, 13 points. He's a big 6'4", 218 guys for a 16, 17 years old. Uh, he's a right wing. Listen, highly skilled, energetic, power winger. Strong skating strike with impressive first step acceleration for a big man. So you can see his power skating is very impressed, to be honest with you. A beast in the corner and along the wall. A strong for checker, loved to play the body. It threw his weight around. Great attitude, possess an avia currency, right wrist shot, smart, use his reach and strength to hold off pressure. A great space to make a play. Uh, the number six, and this guy, guys, I put six, but this guy can be the top three at the end next year. Uh, even Miroshnevnichenko, um, he play in the MLA. MHL, that's a junior in Russia, is a 6 1 185. He's a left winger, 20 games last year, 5 goals, 10 assists for 15 points. Dangerous, electric, natural goal scorer, powerful skater, quick feet, and excellent edge, allowing him to constantly get open to receive a pass. Uh, he has a little shot, uh, so he has a great shot with a great skating. That's what it is. That's why I said he would not be surprised. This kid is a top three. For next season, a little bit more deeper about what he said. Um, listen, you have a good year, um, Giraz and uh, Finland last year. But again, this is all about his size. That's about how he's skating and how he uses his body. A forward power, forward. That's what it is. Finally, for uh, Miro Nishkenkov. Uh, look, this is all about him. It's about his skating and his skill with his hands. And he can shoot. have a great Uh, sniper, wrist shot. So that's what he's all about, about this kid. Number seven and eight. Uh, Roger Mikrorotti. Uh, I'm sorry for the pronunciation on that one. Uh, he played for the USA. is a team USA for the USHL uh, Youth 17. Last season, a 6-1 at 34 game. He had 70 goals, 18 assists for 35 points. Really big skill, power, strong center. Really good on his edge, turns and stop. Produ produce a good straight line speed, great space with a long reach. Uh, you can see right now he's confident and intelligent playmaker. He play the he, he read the play very well. Uh, handle the puck with skull knights, exhibit exhibit excellent puck control and tie area. So that's how it's about about him. The next one is David Jerechek, a defenseman, my second defenseman on that one. He's from Czechoslovakia. Uh, Republic is a big 6'3". Him, he was in 2003 in November. He's at 187 pounds. He played 34 games last year. Three goals, six assists for nine points. He's really t tall. Uh, he is a defenseman, played two ways. Uh, skinny has improved this season. Still could have more food speed. That's what he have to improve. For sure, uh, likes to join the attack, lose the puck um, up ice himself. So you have a great transition, to be honest with you. A little bit more what they said about both of them. Um, look, he played for the um, US 17 and the USHL. So he's a really uh, very strong skater. He compete hard. He won a lot of battle. Can PK, he can generate chance around the hard area of the offensive zone. 
On the David, David is a complete defenseman coming off a great season between the pro level and international play, including uh, been on the Czechoslovakia best player at the World Junior last season. So there's something we'll go to watch him again this year. It'll be really interesting to watch him for sure for that team at the next uh, junior World Junior. It's coming in December. Uh, the next number nine and ten, Danila Ryorov, from again from Russia, playing a MHL is a 6 1 right wing, 172. 23 games last year, 13 goals, 12 assists for 25 points. A dynamic, quick, intelligent, offensive skills winger. His skating ability is near flawless. A white and sturdy stance. His first few strikes are both quick and powerful. The next one is from again USC Team USC on the NTTP uh, U17 as uh, Samus Cassie. Is a 5 11, 176. Is the 2004. 30 games last year, two goals and 18 assists for 20 points. Uh, look, this is going to be, um, it's always going to develop next season, but I put him a chance to be in the top 10 um, because he's a defenseman. He's also an offensive mind defenseman. So the transition is great. Slippery skater with Atalanish lateral movement, pivot turn, and overall elite edge work to escape pressure, slick. Skill hands, quick and creative ability to make skill play happen. Excellent vision and puck distributing capability. So that gives you an idea what it looked like. A little bit more information about them. Um, look, the, the Russian kid have a one point uh, per game at the junior level. He's getting a lot of KHL game at a very young age. Uh, so that gave him a chance to play with a bigger guy. So that's helped for him. I can wait to see him next season. Uh, when he played with the junior and also in the KHL team, uh, because his work is sick, his speed, his work is sick, his show, he could translate versus men. That's give you an idea how power he is. Uh, finally, for Casey, it's all about his transition, right? It's all about his power on skating. So it'll be really interesting how he develop. Is a really uh, around eight to twelve? I, I expect. I'm not done. I'm going to give you two more. So I think it'll be nice. You can get a little bit more. You know more about their name. And uh, number 13 um, and 14, but honestly, it's 11, 12. It's uh, Elias Salomonson um, is a defenseman uh, from Sweden. Excuse me. It's a big 6'2", 183. is my third defenseman on this draft. Uh, and it, uh, prospect 2022. 14 game, 4 goal, 11 assists. Look, he's a two-way defenseman, strong at both hands. Great hockey sense, excellent top end speed and smooth stride uh, high hand mobility is really great improve his first step uh, last one again for team usa logan cooley as a center 510 179 uh, about him listen uh, it's not a flashy but his work ethic is great high hand skating stride um, he has also a quick accurate shot with a good release ability to process the game quickly make the right decision another one i believe could be close to the top 10 Next season, finally, what is think about him, about them? Um, the defenseman, uh, he played the first one. He was not the strong at the U18 last season, but I think it's a six-two. He's going to grow and become more power, uh, become more powerful for the upcoming season. Finally, for Coley, but look, he's going to be one of the top best um, USA and DTP for the upcoming season. He's going to play. I'm sure for. Team National USA for the World Championship. And I think I will expect him to do very well for, for them. So uh, listen, guys, this concludes my first time, my NHL draft top 10 prospect plus two. And I'm going to give you a more video like this, the next future, with a little bit, uh, not the top 10, but after them. So you can learn more about them and during the season, I uh, will give you some information what's going on with them for sure. And finally, I'm coming with another video for 2023 and next couple of days. Follow with me. You're going to learn already in two years who they are the best. I believe it's that 2023 is going to be the draft, one of the best draft in NHL with two amazing, sensational hockey players at 16 years old at that moment. Thanks again for watching another great video of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Before you leave, please, if you like the video, click on the like. That would be very great from you. Finally, if you have any comments, just 
put this on below this video. And finally, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day, everybody. I look forward for the next video of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Bonne journée, mes amis. On se revoit plus tard pour la prochaine vidéo de Hockey Nation Live Show.